Alright, time for a Shivana game. I am against a Nocturne, which is okay matchup for me, really. I just get the farm in the early game for free, essentially, because he doesn't invade me. So I will definitely take those. I will be clearing towards my bot lane here, because they're going to have priority. I don't know why Caitlyn has teleport, but... Uh, or Ari, for that matter, actually. I guess she took the wrong runes. I'm going to clear towards bot lane because Caitlyn range should give her priority. And if that's not the case, I can still get a gank off there. I think the Nocturne is most likely going to start bot lane and clear towards topside anyway. So, yeah. Ping him a couple times. Get my red trinket, go towards blue. Start E here. I'm going to clear down here because I just want to get towards the bot side of the map here. I want to have my sequencing towards the dragon in this case. It's going to be the best thing. I already think the Silas should be winning top lane by himself, as is. And I think Nocturne's going to clear towards top side. I do not necessarily want to fight a Nocturne with lethal tempo in the early game. Because if he gets like a fear off on me, I just die. So that's the only like thing I just want to avoid. So I'm just going to sequence down, look for bot camps, look for like the sequencing towards the dragon. And yeah. E start is by far the fastest because the E damage stacks up really high. Taking damage here doesn't matter, honestly. You can get so much of your HP back from, like, killing Gromp. It's, it really doesn't matter. I just no, don't use any potions, really. Okay. Make sure to hit your E on uh, everything in the camp if you can, every time. Well, at least hit the big one. That's the most important one to hit. Okay. And us already roaming. And I stopped moving for some reason. She's going for a gank. Okay. Oh, by the way, the elo of this game is like low diamond, high plat. So you guys are aware. Uh, full clear is looking fine here. This on the, the red buff. Pop one potion here now. Nocturne is already top lane. He did the three camp. He didn't full clear. I think he's going to get the kill on Silas here though. So that's good for him. It's a very strange path for a Nocturne to three camp like that and actually go for a gank. But I guess he was just assuming the Silas to play very aggressive into a kill. Which is pretty normal to assume. Do not want to smite this here. I want to have my smite ready for Scuttle because Shivana doesn't have a single way to break Scuttle Shield, so it's actually better to just hold it for Scuttle. Nocturne's going to be like topside here. Jenna roamed to get that kill. Uh, my position here now is really bad. See if I can still get the scuttle here. I think it's gonna, it's gonna get dicey with bot lane priority. Jenna is here though. Gonna hit the ward real quick. This guy's actually gonna take that aggression, really? Where's Caitlyn doing? What is Caitlyn doing? She's just not walking up at all. Or helping at all. I guess it is fine. Ha ha ha. Just okay. Goodbye. Interesting. She could have just walked up there and we probably would have been fine. Instead, she's just hitting the wave the entire time. I don't know why. What the heck? Did, like, Caitlyn flame the Jenna for something and Jenna is just perma roaming or something? What is happening? I'm actually confused. Jenna's perma roam essentially made it so that I couldn't get bot scuttle because they couldn't have bot lane priority. They should have had bot lane priority. Oh well. I guess my early game is just going to be a little slower. Not the worst. She literally is just not playing for bot lane at all. What, hap what, what happened bot lane? I just don't get it. At some point, like, Jenna just left and... I mean, I guess she's getting kills, but I'm so confused about what she's doing right now. I'm going to lose Dragon here now. I guess it is what it is. Oh. 
I mean, that's exactly what Jenna is doing right now, stealing the mid laner's experience. I mean, she's getting kills, but... I don't know. I don't know. And she's not gonna help me with my jungle. Why is she just not helping Caitlyn? Did Caitlyn need something extremely toxic towards her or something? Did I miss something? I'm so confused, like, actually. Dragon's probably gone, honestly. I, I should, I'm not even gonna be bothered checking. I'll just play it slow. Shivana's early game isn't generally not that good, but after six, you'll get going. So I don't really mind playing a little slower here, I suppose. He's actually topside. This is not warded either. I don't know if this is going to be possible. Nope. This has to be warded. I, I, what is happening? Like, I don't get it. Do I just drag in here? I think I can. I think Nocturne was just spotted topside and he walked towards his Krug, so like... Unless the mid laner rotates for me right now, which I think the mid laner is just backing, I think I can do this. The mid laner actually went top lane instead, okay. It's a dragon. Nocturne is top, so I can check his bot side camps. Pilus is winning. It's something. That's unfortunate. All down. It's everything is down, okay. What is my Jenna doing? What is happening in my bot lane right now? I don't get it. What is what is this? This is this is supposed to be Diamond 4. I'm supposed to like expect a little bit from him. Right? Jenna Caitlyn should just be playing bot lane. Did, did Jenna look at Caitlyn's runes and decide that she didn't want to play that lane? I don't know. <laughs> I don't know where it went wrong. I don't get it. I guess they're killing the Guiana because she's actually trying to 2v1, which is interesting. Absolutely confused. I'll move up. The unfortunate part here is that I'm like one experience away from six. Would Kill would Kill walk up? This is good, he's gonna fight me in this thing. Oh, do I win this? Lethal Tempo is OP! Yeah, Lethal Tempo, I don't win that. Free? <laughs> he was Oom. Um. Alright, this guy has about as many brain cells, I see. I'll just mute him. I will not be influenced by those type of calls anymore. My entire jungle is up, so I have to make sure I do it. Kind of a rough start, uh, I'd say. Like, my solo laners are getting ki are getting the kills, but my Jenna is just running across the map. Caitlyn now went to mid lane as well. Like, one chaotic game. The classic clown fiesta. I'll be fine. Like, as soon as I get, like, a little bit of experience going here. My early game might not be going perfectly. My team might be completely trolling. Why are you doing Rift Heralds? Oh, no, 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 no. Oh, boy. Yeah, you, I think he dies here. Yep. Jesus Christ, that is... That is not the play I really wanted to make, but I guess it worked somehow. Okay. Game is this game is an, an insane thing to have. I really want to push out the mid wave here, just to get the plates down. Gonna use it. Quiana went top lane. Yeah, this is free mid turret. The fact that Quiana went top actually cost him the mid turret here. Ow, 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 ow! Please don't kill me! Please don't kill me! Please don't kill me! I don't have turret aggro, which is good, but I'm gonna die to Nocturne now. I'm not dead to Nocturne now. I think he got Caitlyn trapped, or he just stopped walking. That's good. Some good plating on mid lane. Hmm. This game is interesting. <laughs> I don't know what to say about this game. This game is just interesting. 
And I get a massive back after my camps here, which is really good. And then I'll start to get rolling really fast from here on out, essentially. Dragon in a minute, so I'll make sure I'll be there for that. How much is my Nashers currently? Ah, just recurve bow Nashers. 2400, yeah, okay, good. I have my dragon form right now. Just kind of back for Nashers. Gonna be a very, very big damage spike. 100 AP, a good amount of attack speed, only hit damage. Good, get a control art with this, and then I'll sprint towards Dragon, I guess. I'll leave these camps up. Just gonna go get the Dragon pressure down right away, so we can just do it. My ult's ready, so this should be fine. Well, it should be coming down, probably, by now. this dragon. Nocturne ult should still be down for a good solid 30 seconds at least. So I don't think they're gonna contest dragon with that being down. I also don't like the fact that Zat is actually pressing recall right now. Get the dragon. I got exhausted. Zat's just kind of trolling. <laughs> what, where was my Zat going with that? Like he was just standing in this bush right here. I don't understand. I got exhausted there, which was a big problem. If I didn't get exhausted, I would have wiped their team. At least I got the dragon off that play, so that's the bare minimum I'll take. I do not know why Zed didn't try to help that fight at all. He just was on the side doing his own thing or something. If he would have just, like, not stood here AFK and actually went towards the fight here, we probably would have just won it straight up. But, uh... Yeah, what can I say? With the way my team has been playing the entire game here so far, I don't know what to do. I have to, like, somehow play with them in a way that will work. Just down. Walk down first and back up. He's top lane, so I actually get to take all of his camps. Oh, come on! That ward is annoying. Oh, I see I'm dead. Oh, no, she let me live. Okay, good. I think if I got snared there and there was someone for backup, I would have just died. Okay, kills bot lane. Wukong is doing his red buff right now. Oh, not Wukong. Nocturne is doing his red buff right now. My jungle camps are up, so I just have to clear for a bit. 20 seconds on blue. Bot Scuttle will be spawning. I'm just gonna go for for Raptors into Bot Scuttle and just leave blue. Okay. I have 105 CS, which is 30 more than the Nocturne. Our kills in this team are fairly equal, somehow. That's mid lane. It's dead. Oh. We'll probably go for this Ash. She almost took the kill with the auto attack there. That would not have made me happy. Let's quickly get the mid turret down here. I'm fairly sure on a Nocturne ult, the Ash would have used her uh, ult already, so I was just kind of free to walk up there. I really want to get the Dark Harvest proc off her if I can. I killed a wave here. Put the pressure down on mid lane. I also get some experience out of this. I need 800 plus 1250 for my next back, ideally. So 2050. Oh, she's dead. It's still down. I was hoping it'd be back up by now, but it's still down. I guess I could just pressure for turret here or something. Just need a tiny bit more gold. I sell my potion at this point. I think I will. All right, we're looking pretty good. I can get my Sorks on my Magi's here, and then I can just start stacking up Magi's. Even though I did get a reasonably slow start by the most confusing like early game ever, 
this is gonna propel me. That's all I needed. I just have a feeling that Kate's gonna do my uh, blue buff and my gromp or something. She actually left it. Right. I was not expecting that. I am not going to lie. Dragon in a minute. I think. Ooh, nope, she's dead. I think she's dead at least. She's gonna survive? Nope, she's dead. I really want to get level 11. That didn't burn thick, unfortunately. I just go bolt here, I guess. I'll go bolt lane. One shot. She didn't ult. I don't know if she had it or not, but she didn't ult. She may not have been expecting my damage, but she still had like a small window of opportunity to actually use her ult there. So I would see either is really slow or she just didn't have it. I'm assuming she didn't have it because I don't think she's that slow. Dragon in 20. I kind of want to get that. I'm not going to have my dragon form up for it at this point though. Did he get it? No, Viana got it. Okay. 10 seconds. I kind of don't have my dragon form right now because I just killed the kill. She dead. She's dead. Yeah, okay. I, can, I guess we can do go for the Drake then, because the, she's the most powerful uh, member on their team. Ooh, nope, they're doing Dragon themselves. I think I just have to give. Got it. And I'm flashing out. Goodbye. Uh, the way to combo smite with Shivana, by the way, is you land your E and then just auto attack Q smite. You want to auto attack, like, the auto attack is there, optional, like, as an optional thing. But definitely just Q smite on the E is going to give a big burst. Uh, let's take the back here. Get my Hextech alternator. One more kill is going to give me four stacks to get the 10 stacks, which is going to be super good for me. Getting the 10 stacks is going to give me the permanent move speed boost, which is going to be super nice. As you can see, like my farm, I'm about 50 CS up on the Nocturne simply by like properly sequencing my jungle camps. I have three dragons on him, which is really good as well. The rest of the game is complete chaos, but yeah, the clown fiesta that is diamond four. One more kill is going to give me a, okay. Don't know if this is going to work. I'm going to jump over here. Oh, that's that's not good. I think I may be dead here. That hits. That doesn't hit me actually. Oh, she dodged it. I'm I'm dead. Wait, she didn't have shield up? Or did my shield? Uh, actually, she had shield reduction as well. Damn. Ah, uh, she was. She had too much damage. I shouldn't have turned around. I should have just kept running. I think. I also thought that Jenna ult was up, honestly, but that wasn't. It was like a second off. So that's my bad. Yeah, I probably was on a ward there. I was trying a little bit too hard, I would I, I would say, to uh, help my Silas there. Just soloing the Rift Herald. I don't know what happened. I, I still don't understand what happened bot lane. At some point, like, the Jenna just at level 2 decided to never go back. But yeah, I'm definitely out jungling this Nocturne. Like, being 50 CS up on an enemy jungler is really good. While still having kill pressure, of course. Like, it's not like I don't have any kill participation. And I have dragons, so that's good. Oh, I lost dragons in two minutes. I'm gonna farm for a little bit. Make sure I get some experience, get my camps down. She's just soloing Herald, I'll leave her through it. I actually imagine... Oh, she's actually not gonna, even going to get the Herald. I really thought that the Silas was going to help her, but I probably should have just went to the drag, uh, to the Herald instead. I maybe griefed her a little bit. I honestly thought that, like by the time I got there, it would just be gone. An ally has been slain. Okay, well. May, may just have potentially griefed my uh, Jenna there, but not just running to Herald. I really thought she was going to get some assistance or would have just been done with it already the second I would have gotten there. So I didn't think it was going to be useful. Really still want to get my Magi stacks. The problem here is their late game, like with kill, is pretty scary. Guiana is very strong, so we have to respect her. Uh, 
Yeah, that's worth. That's honestly worth the trade because of this shot. Please don't be a Nocturne Ultimate. Anything but a Nocturne Ultimate right now. I will die. Okay, good. That's not a Nocturne Ultimate. I got a shutdown off that, which is really good. I think that gives me my Night Harvest. Nope, not yet. Rip. Night Harvester is going to be the massive power spike. When I get that and two more Magi stacks at this point, I'll be very strong. I honestly don't know what kind of game I'm playing here. Like, this is so weird to me. <laughs> it's one big Chaos. I think that's in their jungle and he's dead. I'm just going to go for kill. Ooh, they're actually bot lane. Okay, then they're both dead. Both Nocturne and kill are now dead. No! Okay. I got my 10 Magi stack, so I'm going to be happy about it. Dragon's gonna be up soon. I need a little bit more gold here. It's actually good that Silas had Kuyana ult there. That kind of gave us that. I just doomed. She used her entire rotation, I guess. That's something. I really want to do this dragon. Kuyana has no ult now. With her not having ult should allow us to get this dragon for free. Emphasis on should. That's good damage. Yep, good. That's a good Jenna ult. Knocking her into me. I'm just gonna focus on dragon right now. Get the Drake's hold down. Go, there we go. Wait for him to hit me, then flash over. If I would flash faster there, then he would follow me with his ult, and that would not be good. So we're obviously going to wait there. Focusing on Dragon there is more worth it because of Drake's soul. I would say. I have my, my uh, item now as well. Alright, that's four dragons in 22 minutes. That's pretty good. But uh, definitely the Kuyana is a problem at the moment. That could go really wrong really fast. Time to go for topside camps here. 10 deaths though. What is this build? She's going for some tanky build, which is probably smart. To not get deleted by my E. She should definitely get some magic resist though. I'm definitely giving this to whoever wants it. So I don't need it at all. Like it's completely useless on me. Gives me some CDR, but that's about all it does. All it does. Mm. If that hits something, I might do some nice damage. No one here. Okay. Might as well check with some some random hits. Maybe like this. Nope. I don't think I hit anything. Path this way. She actually didn't even try to run. I thought I was like, I thought I had to like walk the other direction to cut her off because she was gonna try to run, but she didn't even bother. Hit the ward quickly. It's a good Jenna ult heal. I'm dead here. I'm not dead here. That was super close. I think I, I definitely walked up a little bit too far in that situation. Can Baron, potentially. Oh, that's a kill ult. My E connected there. Just need to not tank this. I don't need to. Can I not like? I need the Silas to help me do this, Baron. We're losing so much damage. I need the Silas to tank because he has like some form. I do so much damage if I can just have my E proc off. Oh my god, that's a scary man. Stand still. That's a lot of damage. He's dead. Okay. She's quite tanky. Oh, she has her Hex Drinker now. Okay, I see. And they're probably dead. I'm going to go for a Void Staff here. Definitely gonna go for a void staff here. 
reason i'm going void staff is because this ash also has a wits end so the more ma like they're they're getting pretty heavy magic resist i would imagine kill's gonna build like some kind of a wits end maybe soon as well so having the extra magic resist is gonna be good almost 16 here Sixteen's gonna be big. Oh no. Just a run mid now. Do they win this? Good. They want that. Let's go for mid. 213 CS is very good. My team's CS is completely garbage, but I don't know. I honestly, this does not look like a diamond game at all. Like I've, I'm used to some stuff, but this is this game is ridiculous. Just wait on it. Wait even long. Oh, she flashed it. Damn, that sucks. Wait, I can kill kill here. Nope, I cannot. That was not a hit. I'll just have to leave them. Just walk up to the ash, hit this. Nope, didn't miss. Damn. If it hit, the Caitlyn ult would have killed there. Because my, like, I would have... Actually, she has, like, wits end, so she is pretty magic resist heavy, I'd say. M might not have killed, now that I think about it. Would have been close. Just gonna do scuttle right now. I have a void staff in base. I should really reset towards the dragon now. I'm just gonna back, like back bang, uh, back, back ping them. Oh, he traded one for one with the Kuyana. That's worth. They're both 16 kills, but that's super worth because Kuyana has way more team fight impact than a Zed does with her ultimate well placed. Oh, that's gonna be mid shit. I was hoping that was gonna be the Jenna, but I'm. Actually, she's alive, right? Yeah, she's alive. Just have to run up to him here. And dead. Why did you Jenna ult him there? Okay, got him. Shifana thinks. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah, that was kind of funny. Yeah, Sivana is so strong later in the game. Like the level 16 spike, having this, having all these dragons. Sit turret down. Just gonna focus on this turret as well. I'll finish the Nexus. There we go. GG's. If you guys have enjoyed this video, please make sure to the thumbs up button below. It helps me out quite a bit. If you'd like to see more videos from me in the future, hit the subscribe button as well. And I'll see you guys in the next one. Bye.